uh, hello everyone good evening so here we shall solve some ACT previous year questions on the chapter probability so any doubts if you have in any steps then please write that in the comment section in any other chapter of maths if you have more more difficulty then write the name of that chapter in the comments section then we shall give more priority on it and solve more and more questions on that chapter also some important homework questions will be uploaded in the sapiens education application so please in, please install our sapiens please install our sapiens education application whose link has been provided in the description so here we shall start from number one so here it is told that a and b are two events such that the probability of the event a is not equal to then the Probability of B given A. If uh, A is a subset of B, the second is A intersection B equals to five. Or specifically, if, so if A is a subset of B, so P of B given A means that it is equal to P of B intersection A divided by P of A. So when A is a subset of B, then B intersection A, B intersection A that is equal to A. So it means it will be equal to P of A by P of A, which will be equal to 1. And when A intersection B is 5, then the probability of B intersection A that will be 0. So therefore, in that case, P of B given A that will be equal to 3. So the correct answer is 1 comma 0 so option d is the correct answer then in question number 2 it is told that two ties are thrown simultaneously the probability of obtaining a total score of 5 is two dies are thrown simultaneously the probability of obtaining a total score of 5 so 1 comma 4 can be obtained 4 comma 1 or 2 comma 3 or 3 comma 2 can be obtained so, so the answer will be 4 by 36 so it is equal to 1 by 9 so option a is the correct answer If the events A and B are independent, the events A and B are independent if P of A complement that is equal to 2 by 3, P of B complement that is equal to 2 by 7, then P of A intersection is equal to how much? So, therefore, we know that P of A, A complement that is equal to 1 minus P of A. So therefore P of A that will be equal to 1 minus P of A complement that will be equal to 1 by 3 and similarly P of B also will be equal to 1 minus P of B complement so that is equal to uh, 1 minus 2 by 7 that is equal to 5 by 7 and therefore P of A intersection B that is equal to P of A into P of B hence why here it is told that A and B are independent units. So P of A will be 1 by 3 and P of B will be 5 by 7. So that will be equal to 5 by 21. So option P is the correct answer. Question number 4 it is told. A box contains 100 bulbs out of which 10 are defective. A 
box contains 100 bulbs out of which 10 are defective a sample of five bulbs is drawn the probability that none of them is defective the probability that none of them is defective means the probability of of not getting a defective bulb probability of not getting a defective bulb uh, that is equal to uh, that will be 90 by 100 and five bulbs are drawn so therefore the probability that all five all five bulbs are, are good that means that they are not not defective not defective so that will be equal to 5 c5 into 90 by 100 whole power 5 if you know that out of uh, uh, out of n number of in n number of trials the probability of getting R successes in n trials the probability of getting R successes so is given as NCR to P power uh, R into 1 minus P whole power N minus R where P is the probability of getting success. So here also the answer will be 5C5. 5C5 is 1 therefore the answer will be 9 by 10 whole power 5. Option C is the correct answer. Then in question number 5, it told a uh, man takes a step forward with probability 0 0.4 and one step backward with probability. Man, man takes a step forward with probability 0 0.4 and one step backward with uh, probability 0 0.6. Then the probability that at the end of 11 steps he is one step away from the starting point the probability that at the end of 11 steps he is one step away from the starting point so here uh, so here we can take the first case Case one, it can happen that he can take. Uh, so there are eleven steps. So in the eleven steps, if he takes five steps forward, five steps forward and plus six steps backward, so then he will be one step away from the starting point. Or he can take six steps forward plus five steps backward then also he is one step away from the starting point so therefore the probability that he is uh, probability that he is one step away from the starting point he is one step away from the starting point so that will be equal to so out of 11 steps 6 steps forward 5 steps forward so 11 c5 into uh, so for forward the probability of that he takes one step forward is 0 0.4 it is 0 0.4 whole power 5 and uh, once and six steps backward so the 
probability of uh, having one step backward is 0 0.6 so this will be 0 0.6 whole power 6 and uh, and plus it will be 11 c6 0 0.4 and whole power 6 where he takes six steps forward and five steps backward so this is 0 0.6 whole power 5 so these two we have to add so therefore the required probability the required probability will be equal to 11 c5 0 0.4 whole power 5 which is 0 0.6 whole power 6 plus 11 c6 into 0 0.4 whole power 6 into 0 0.6 whole power 5 and we know that 11 c5 is same as 11 c6 and ncr is same as nc n minus r so 11 c6 i can write 11 c6 into 0 0.4 whole power 5 into 0 0.6 whole power 5 and uh, this i can take common from these two and here it will be 0 0.6 plus 0 0.4 which is equal to 1 so the answer will be 11 c6 into 0 0.4 whole power 5 into 0 0.6 whole power 5 so it will be 11 c6 into 0 0.24 0 0.24 whole power 5 11 okay so it will be option a option a is the correct answer then in, in question number 6 question number 6 it is told the probability distribution of the random variable x is then find the value of k so here the rule is summation p of xi that will be equal to 1 and sum of all the probabilities that should be equal to 1 therefore it means 0 0.2 plus k plus k plus 2k that should be equal to 1 so therefore it will be 2k plus 2 so there is 4k 4k will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.2 that is 0 0.8 so 4k is equal to 0 0.8 so k should be equal to 0 0.2 so option c is the correct answer then in question number 7 it is told that a box contains six red marbles six red marbles are there red marbles numbered from 1 to 6 and 4 white marbles 4 white marbles 12 through 15 so 12 13 14 15 find the probability that a marble drawn at random is white and odd numbered so the probability that The probability that the number is white and odd number. So it means that here odd numbered white marble only two are there. So any one I can choose out of that two, and uh, possible number of outcomes is out of all these ten I can choose any one. It means the answer is two by ten, which is one by five. Option A is the correct answer. Then in question number 8, it is told that if two dice are thrown simultaneously, then uh, the probability that the sum of the numbers, if two dice are thrown simultaneously, then the probability that the sum of the numbers which come up on the dice to be more than 5 is. 
the sum of the numbers the sum of the value will be more than 5 okay so it means that the probability that the sum is more than 5 so that will be equal to 1 minus the probability that the sum is less than or equal to 5 so the probability that the sum is less than or equal to 5 so how can we get less than or equal to 5 it means that i can take 1 1 or 1 1 2 i can take or 1 3 i can take or 1 4 i can take 1 5 i can take 1 4 i can take 1 5 i cannot take and then with 2 i can take 2 2 2 2 i can take 2 3 i can take 2 4 i cannot take So here I can get two outcomes since one, two, one, two, one. Here also I can get two outcomes, three, one, three, and three, one, one, four. Here also I can get two outcomes. Here also here I can get one, but here I can get two outcomes, two, three, and three, two. <coughs> so it means that uh, the probability that the sum is less than or equal to five is one plus two plus two plus two plus two plus one divided by 36 so that is 2 5 the 10 10 by 36 that is equal okay so therefore the probability that the sum is more than 5 that will be equal to 1 minus 10 by 36 that is equal to 26 by 36 so that is 13 by 18 by so 13 by 18 so option b is the correct answer Then in question number 9 it is told if the probability of A intersection B that is equal to 7 by 10. So the probability that P of A intersection B is 7 by 10 and probability of B is 17 by 20 where P stands for probability then P of A given B is equal to so P of A given B means it is P of A intersection B divided by P of B so P of A intersection B is 7 by 10 divided by 17 to 20 so that would be 7 by 10 to 20 by 17 so 10 to Z so this is 14 by 17 so option c is the correct answer then in question number 10 it is told two cards are drawn at random two cards are drawn drawn at random from a pack of 52 cards from a pack of 52 cards the probability of these two being aces the probability of these two being aces so we know that there are four aces so out of these four a's i can choose any two by 4c2 ways and out of these 52 cards i can choose any any two also so 4c2 is the number of favorable outcomes and 52c2 is the number of possible outcomes so the required probability required probability is 4c2 by 52c2 so that is 4 by 2 into 3 by 1 divided by 52 by 2 into 51 by 1 so 2 and 2 will cancel out so this is 13 4 the 52 so 3 1 the 3 7 the 21 so this is 1 by 13 into 17 this is equal to 1 by 13 7 the 91 13 over 13, 13 plus 9, that is 22. So 1 by 221. Option B is the correct answer. Then in question number 11, it is told two dice are thrown simultaneously. The probability of obtaining a total score of 5. So how to get a total score of 5? Either I can take 1, 4, or 4, 1, or I can take 2, 3, and 3, 2. So these four are the favorable outcomes. 
therefore the required probability that will be equal to 4 by 36 since when two dice are thrown then uh, then the number of outcomes is 36 that is the required probability is 1 by 9 option c is the correct answer and in question number question number 12 it is told that a box has 100 pens of which 10 are defective 10 are defective then the probability that of out of a sample of 5 pens drawn 1 by 1 with replacement drawn 1 by 1 with replacement and almost one then at mo and at most one is defective is at most one is defective it means that either none is defective or one is defective so let's take the random variable as x so x can be 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 where x is the number of defective pens x is the number of defective pens so here it means we have to find p of 0 plus p of 1 it means the probability that x is less than or equal to 1 it means at most 1 is defective uh, and p of 0 means that none is defective none of the pens are defective and plus p of only one pen is defective so therefore here uh, p of x so that will be equal to out of these p of p of getting a defective pen let's call this as the probability of success let's call this as the probability of success that is p of getting a defective pen that is equal to p so that will be equal to uh, so 10 are defective so that is 10 by 100 so that is 1 by 10 and therefore the probability of failure probability of failure that is equal to the, the probability of not getting a defective pen probability of not getting a defective pen so that will be equal to q that is equal to 1 minus p so that is equal to 9 by 10 most so p of x it means the probability of getting x successes so that will be equal to 5 c x to p power x into q power 5 minus x where it is the pr probability of getting x getting x defective pens out of those 5 x defective pens out of those 5 pens so here we have to find p of 0 plus p of so therefore the probability that x is less than or equal to 1 so that is p of 0 plus p of 1 so that will be equal to 5 c 0 1 is defective so that is q power that is q power 5 plus this is 5 c 1 so p power 1 into q power 4 this will be equal to 5 c 0 into q is 9 by 10 9 by 10 whole power 5 plus this is 5 c 1 into this is 1 by 10 whole power 1 into 9 by 10 whole power 4 so this will be equal to 5 c 1 this will be equal to nine by ten 
to 9 by 10 whole power 4 plus this is 5 by 10 so that is 1 by 2 into 9 by 4 9 by 10 whole power 4 the, so the second right 5 by 10 also this is 9 by 10 whole power 4 into 9 plus 4 14 by 10 9 by 10 whole power 5 the answer is 9 by 10 whole power 5 plus half into 9 by 10 whole power 4. So option C is the correct answer. Then in question number 13, it is told that the probability distribution of the random variable x is this, so then the value of k is. So here the rule is that the sum of all the probabilities that should be equal to sum of all the probabilities sum of all the probabilities that should be equal to 1 so therefore I can say 0 0.3 plus k plus 2k plus 3 plus 2k that is equal to 1 therefore 4k plus k that is 5k that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.3 that is 0 0.7 so k that is equal to 0 0.7 divided by 5 so this would be equal to 0. Point so 5 ones are 5, 5, 4 is 20. So 0 0.14. Option D is the correct answer. Question number 14. Two independent two events A and B will be independent if if P of A intersection B that is equal to P of A into P of B. So therefore P of a complement intersection B complement. So that can be written as that will be also equal to P of A complement into P of B complement. P of B complement, which will be equal to 1 minus P of A into 1 minus P of B. So option A is the correct answer. Question number 15 is told for the probability distribution given by this the standard deviation rules. So the standard deviation the standard deviation that is equal to uh, so that is the square root of variance. So square root so the variance of x that is given as um, the expectation value of x square minus the expectation value of x whole square. So it means the expectation value of x that is equal to the mean, mean also I can tell. It means that is summation pi x i that will be equal to Pixi, so that is equal to 25 by 36 into 0 plus 5 by 18 into 1 plus 1 by 36 into 2. So that is equal to 5 by 18 plus 1 by 18. So that is 6 by 18. So that is 1 by 3. So this is the mean value. And the expectation value of x square that is equal to summation Pixi square that is equal to 25 by 36 into Zero square plus five by eighteen into one square plus one by thirty six into two square. So that is five by eighteen plus four by thirty six four nine by thirty six. So that is two by eighteen. So that is equal to seven by eighteen. Now therefore the variance of x so that is equal to expectation value of x square that is seven by eighteen minus one by three whole square that is one by nine. So that is two minus 7 minus 2 by 18 it's 5 by 18 5 by 18 or I can tell uh,
gains of x that is expectation value of x square square by 3 1 square 36 into 2 square whole square which is 1 by 9 so 2 by 18 so 5 by 18 so it means sigma will be equal to uh, square root of 5 by 18 so that is equal to square root of 5 by 9 into 2 so that is equal to 1 by 3 root over 5 by 2 so option d is the correct answer then in question number 16 it is told uh, the bag contains 17 tickets numbered from 1 to 17. A bag contains 17 tickets. 17 tickets appear numbered from 1 to 17. A ticket is drawn at random, then another ticket is drawn without replacing the first one. The probability that both the tickets may show even numbers. That means that two tickets are drawn without replacement. It means that the probability that I have to find the first ticket drawn, so the first ticket is drawn that is an even number into the second one is also an even number given that the first one is an even number it is also even number so it means the probably that the first ticket is an even number so it means here we have 2 4 6 8 10 12 14. So here we have eight eight even numbered tickets. Eight even number tickets are there. So that would be eight by seventeen into uh, this then now we have sixteen. tickets and we have out of that remaining 16 we have got uh, seven even numbers this is the first one drawn is an even number so 8 to the 16 so that will be 7 by 34 and a is the correct answer then in question number 17 flashlight has 10 batteries out of which four are dead 10 batteries are there in a flashlight. 10 batteries are there in a flashlight out of which 7 are dead. If 3 batteries are selected without replacement and tested, then the probability that all 3 are dead is of which 4 are flashlight has. 10 batteries out of which 4 are dead. 3 batteries are selected without replacement. So 4 are dead, it means 6 are in working condition. 6 are in working condition. Three batteries are selected without replacement. Then the probability that all three are dead. So it means that out of these four, I have to select any three dead batteries by four, six, three ways. And out of these ten, I can select the three. So this is the the possible number of ways, and this is the favorable number of ways.
so that will be 4c3 is 4 4c1 by 10c3 means 10 by 3 into 9 by 2 to 8 by 1 so this is 4 by 1 so 4 by 6 is a 9 2 is a 4 by 8 so 4 by 120 is 1 by 30 so option a is the correct one So here actually we are using the rule that if I have n c r then we can write it as n by r into n minus 1 by r minus 1 into then n minus r plus 1 by 1. It means that when the denominator will come 1 then we have to stop. When the denominator will come 1 when the denominator is 1 then we have to stop. It's this process we have to stop then in question number 18 is told the probability of happening of an event a is 0 0.5 and the probability of happening of an event b is 0 0.3 if a and b are mutually exclusive events it means that p of a intersection b is 5 it means that they are mutually exclusive then the probability of neither a nor b it means a complement intersection b neither a nor b it means that we have to find p of a union b both complement so this will be equal to 1 minus p of a union b so now p of a union b so here a intersection b is 5 it means the probability of a intersection b that will be also 0. So now p of a union b that will be equal to p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b that will be p of a 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3 minus b, that is 0 0.8. Now therefore the probability neither a nor b a complement intersection b complement so that will be 1 minus p of a union b that is 1 minus 0 0.8 it is 0 0.2 so option c is the correct one then in question number 19 it is told in a simultaneous throw of a pair of dice simultaneous throw of a pair of the probability of getting a total more than 7 is getting a total the probability that the sum that is more than 7 is. it means that the sum can be uh, 8 or the sum can be 9 or the sum can be 10 or the sum can be 11 or the sum can be 12 also so how to get the sum as 8 so we can have 4 comma 4 we can have 3 comma 5 we can have 5 comma 3 or we can have 2 comma 6 or we can have 6 comma 2 so there are five favorable favorable outcomes for it so this will be 5 by 36 plus the probability of getting the sum as 9 so how to get 9 4 comma 5 and 5 comma 4 or we can have 6 comma 3 and 3 comma 6 so it means the probability is 4 by 36 plus the, pro the probability that the sum is 10 so how to get sum as 10 so this will be 5 comma 5 and 6 comma 4 or 4 comma 6 so it means it is 3, 3 by 36. Then plus the probability of getting the sum as 11. Probability of getting the sum as 11, so that is 6, 5 and 5, 6. That will be 2 by 36. Plus the sum will be 12. The sum can be 12 by only by 
one by which is six comma six. That is one by thirty six. So the sum will be five plus four plus three plus two plus one divided by thirty six. So this will be plus four nine nine plus three is nine plus three is twelve twelve plus three is fifteen. So fifteen by thirty six. So that is two by the fifteen twelve by thirty six. So five by twelve. So option C is the correct answer. Then in question number twenty, it is told if A and B are mutually exclusive pair, P of A intersection B is equal to zero since A intersection B is five. Since they are mutually exclusive, then given that P of A equal to three by five, P of B is one by five, then P of A or B. So P of A or B so. Whenever or function is used, it means that it is union. P of A and B is equal to five. That will be P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection. So that will be equal to three by five plus one by five minus. So that is four by five. Zero point eight. So option A is the correct answer. Then in question number twenty-one, it told that. Two letters are chosen from the letters of the word equations. The letters of the word equations. The so the probability that one is vowel and the other is consonant. Consonant is two letters are chosen. It means that. So here we have the uh, vowels. Vowels are a, e, i, o, u. All are there, and the consonants present here are q, t, n, and s. Q, t, n, and s. Q, t. So therefore the Probability that one is a vowel, one is a vowel, and one is a consonant. That will be consonant. Consonant. That will be equal to. So now here we have. Uh, Five plus four, so nine letters are there. In the, in the word equations, and there are five vowels and four consonants. So out of five vowels, I have to choose any one of them, and from consonants also, I, to, I can choose any one of them. Like four C one ways. And out of these nine letters, I can choose any two letters by nine C two ways. So that is the the total number of Possible outcomes. The, the total number of possible outcomes is nine zero. Since we have to choose any two letters, so that will be five into four divided by nine by two into eight by one. That will be two four by eight. So four four will cancel. So that is five by nine. So option D is the correct one. Then in question number twenty two, it is told a random variable x has the following. Probability distribution, then the value of k. So x. Uh, so the values of x are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the probability of x are these. So we know. So here the rule which we have to use is that the sum of all the probabilities, the sum of all the probabilities. Sum of all the probabilities of of all for all different values of the random variable for all different values of the random the variable x that should be equal to one. It means that summation p of x i should be equal to zero. No, sorry, that should be that should be equal to one. Should be equal to one. So therefore, the sum of all the 
probabilities means k minus 1 plus 3k plus k plus 3k plus 3k square plus k square plus k square plus k that should be equal to 1. So therefore to add them then we will get uh, 3k plus 3k plus 4k plus 7k so 8k 8k plus uh, 3k square plus 3k square or here there is something <laughs> k minus 1 plus 3k plus k plus 3k plus 3k square k plus k plus 3k plus 3k square plus k square k square plus k square here this will be k plus 3k plus 3k square plus k square plus k square plus k that is equal to 1. So therefore I can say k plus 3k 4k 5k 8k 8k plus k that is 9k 9k plus 5k square minus 1 that is equal to 1. So therefore I can say 5k square plus 9k minus 2 that is equal to 0. Therefore, the value of k, k will be equal to, so 5 to the 10. So, we can factorize this, we can factor it, so that will be 5k square plus 10k minus k minus 2 that is equal to 0. So then, this I can write, 5k I can take as common and then I can write k plus 2 minus 1 into k plus 2 that will be equal to 0. So therefore, I can write 5k minus 1 into k plus 2 that should be equal to 0. So k cannot be negative. k can't be negative. k cannot be less than 0. So it means k plus 2 cannot be 0. So therefore, 5k minus 1 that only should be 0. So k should be equal to 1 by 5. So the the required value of k is 1 by 5. So, option k is the correct answer. Then, in question number 23, we told that if a and b are two events of the sample space s such that a and b are two events for the sample space s such that p of a that is 0 0.2, p of b is 0 0.6, p of a given b that is equal to 0 0.5, then p of a complement given b is how much so now p of a given b that is we can write it as p of a intersection b divided by p of b and similarly p of a complement given b that you can write as p of a complement intersection b divided by p of b. So p of a complement intersection b that is equal to p of b a complement intersection b. So that is this part. It means from b I have to subtract, I have to remove the common part. So a intersection b by p of b. So that will be equal to 1 minus p of a given b. This is given as 0 0.5. This will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.5. That is 0 0.5 only. Okay. So it is half. So option B is the correct one. <coughs> Then in question number 24, it is told if x has a binomial distribution with parameters n is equal to 6, x is a binomial distribution with parameters n is equal to 6, and p and p of x equal to 
2 that is equal to 12. So P is equal to 2, that means the probability of success that is 2 and P of x equal to 2 that is also 12 and P of x equal to 3 that is also equal to 5. So then the value of P is R. So P of x equal to 2 means the probability of getting 2 successes out of this 6 trials. So n is what? n is the number of Bernoulli trials. So this will be equal to 6 C2. P power 2 into Q power 4 where Q is equal to 1 minus P. P is equal to So P we have to find, the value of P we have to find. So Q is equal to 1 minus P. And P of x equal to 3, that is equal to 6C3. Since we know that P of x equal to R, it means the probability of getting R successes out of N Bernoulli graphs, that is given as NCR into P power R into Q power N minus R. But Q is the probability of failure and Q P is the probability of success. So P of x equal to 3 that is 6 C2 into P power 3 into Q power 3. So that is given as 5 and this value is given as 12. So then we have to find the value of P. So if you take the ratio, this will be equal to 6c2 p square q power 4 divided by 6c3 p q q2. So that is equal to, it will be equal to 12 by 5. So 12 by 5. This will be equal to p square and q get cancel and q square and still. 6 into 1, 6 by 2 into 5 by 1 into Q divided by 6 C3 into here this will be P in into P. So that is equal to 12 by 5. Then we have to find the value of P. Therefore, we can see that which is a six. So 15 Q by 6 C3 that is 6 by 3 into 5 by 2 into 4 by 1 into P that is equal to 12 by 5. This means the uh, 6 to the 6, 5, 3 are 15. So that is 3 Q divided by 6 and 5 is there, 5 for the 20. 15 P, 15 Q by 20 P, that is equal to 12 by 5. It means, therefore, we got 15 P by 20 Q, that is, sorry, 15 Q by 20 P. 15 Q by 20 P that is equal to 2 by 5. So therefore, 5 3 of 15, 5 4 are 20 and 3 4 are 2. So it means that 1 minus P divided by P that is equal to 15 by 5. So let's say 5 minus 5 P that is equal to 16 P. So 16 plus 5 that is 21 P that is equal to 5. So P is equal to P is equal to 5 by 21. P is equal to 5 by 21. So it means here none of the options are correct. None of the options are correct. None of the options are correct.
this answer is coming 5.21 which is the probability of success in each one of these graphs so it means what p is actually called as the probability of success the probability of getting success in each one only trial the q is what q is the probability the probability probability of failure in each one only trial each one only trial Question number 25 it is told a man speaks to two out of three times so the probability of speaking the truth the probability of speaking the truth two by three he picks one of the rational numbers in the set one two three four five six seven and reports that it is even the Probability that it will actually even is. So the probability actually even is. And he reports that it is even. So it means the probability of the probability that it is actually even, the probability that it is actually even is the uh, probability of selecting selecting an even number from the set s selecting an even number from set s into the probability that is speaks the truth probability that he speaks the truth that he since he reports that it is even plus it can also happen the probability of selecting an odd number and then the probability that he speaks selecting an odd number from that is into the Probability that he speaks a lie. Since when he reports that it is even, it is a lie. Means that it is not an. Is it reports that it is even. So this will be selecting an even number So there are three even numbers so three out of seven three into which is two by three
probability that it is actually even. So here it can happen that probability So let's suppose P of A, we tell that uh, is the probability of selecting, selecting an even number from the set S. And P of A complement, that will be the probability of selecting an odd number from set S. So we have to find the prob probability that he speaks the truth given that probability that uh, it is probability of selecting an even number even that is speaks the truth so that will be the probability select P of A into P of T given it means probability that he speaks the truth given that that's P of A, P of T given A plus P of A complement, P of okay, so actually this will be probability of selecting an even number from set S, so that is 3 by 7. And speak the truth that is 2 out of 3, so that is coming 2 by 7, but there is no such option. So, means that none of the options are correct. Okay, so here we shall end the first part of this video on probability, and in the next part we shall start from question number 26 onwards and in any steps if you have any questions or any other doubts if you have then please write that in the comments section and install our sapiens education application where we shall upload some important homework questions on every chapter based on the previous year pct so thank you everyone